What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Just got to the game store, just opened. No one's come in yet, of course. Um, I think Josh will be here pretty soon. And we have a What is up, guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is the Vancouver Toy Show. I'm on my way right now to the store. Uh, gotta load the car up. I got like, I got all the empty tubs and boxes and all that kind of stuff, but gotta fill them with inventory. And I gotta pick up, um, I'm, well, I'm meeting Josh there and then I'm gonna give him a ride to the show, and Abby is going to meet us there. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm really excited. Let's get the day started. All right guys, we just got to the toy show. We just loaded everything in, and I went and parked my car in the vendor lot. So let's walk inside and start getting set up. At the toy show right now, here with Abby. She's really tired. But we're all set up and we've been selling some stuff. It's, I don't know how long it's been, maybe like an hour or so, but it's going good so far. It's Nick. It's Cooper. What's going on, man? Nothing much. Yeah. Gotta do some filming. Absolutely. Gotta get that vlog up. Don't let it not happen. What's going on, man? Not much. How you doing? There's the next store. There's all the info. Yeah, so we gave you a car the first car. Yeah, we just changed the name today. So oh, yeah. Tony's my name. There's different sizes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, looks like it's a... Yeah. all the math pole and taller and taller. Yeah, it was, they, they're pretty easily destroyed. Yeah, I would think all right guys the toy show is now over and i'm back at the store i'm here by myself right now um abby stayed up all night and then went to the toy show so she is going to you know she's home right now she's going to try and sleep i think um josh went home he had some stuff to do um he helped me unload the car and everything of course um, but now I have to go through and put everything back so that I can open up again tomorrow. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't vlog too much. I tried to get a lot of footage of the show, but like talking to the camera just doesn't work in a, you know, in a situation like that. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, the first part of this vlog. There's still more to go, of course. Um, I have a lot of stuff to show you guys that I picked up, um, stuff for my collection and stuff for the store. So uh, once I get settled here, I'm going to go ahead and film that stuff. And so you guys will see that in just a moment. All right guys, so I got a lot of the stuff put back. Um, not everything, but it's you know enough that I can work on it before the store opens tomorrow. I put a few NES games in here, but I need to get a couple more boxes to push everything to the front like that. So that's what it's gonna look like basically, which will be really nice. But Instead of doing it pickup video style, I'm just gonna show you guys like this because I have a lot more stuff that Abby took home 
that I'm gonna show you once I get back. And if I do it individually, like a pickup video, then it's going to make this vlog an hour long. So I got all this stuff from one guy. So Mega Man, Wily's Revenge for Game Boy. The tags that you might see on them are not the prices I paid. These are what he had them priced at, but we worked out a bulk deal for everything for basically half off. So let's just go through them here. And this is all good stuff that I need for PRGE that's coming up. So I'm really excited to get all these because, you know, some stuff like Heavy Barrel, you know, Drag or Spider-Man, whatever, you know, these aren't games that are super expensive, but they're games that I don't have. Plus, there is some good stuff in here as well, of course, as you can see. This one is DuckTales with the manual. And we got these. The Super Nintendo games. Decent stuff. And then this is another Mega Man 3. This is Bubble Bobble with the manual. This is Mario 3 with the manual. And this is a, another Gold Zelda. And then, of course, we have the Complete in Box Legend of Zelda, which I'm going to double check and see if I need this one or see if it's a condition upgrade. And then a Red DS Lite. So that bundle there was, I paid $466 um, for everything that you saw. Uh, like I said, the Legend of Zelda box I'm taking home right now to compare to mine. It might be a condition upgrade. I already have the game, of course, but... Um, if that box is better, I'll keep it and I'll put my other box into the store's inventory. Um, other than that, I'm not keeping any of those, you know, I don't need the manuals or anything. Um, everything else that I have to show is at home right now because Abby took it in the truck. So, um, I'm actually like done here for right now. So I'm going to stop and get some food and then head home and I will show you guys the other stuff I picked up which is a lot of it's going to be for my collection, but there is more stuff for the store as well. So we'll take a look at that here in like a second for you. So I got this giant box of toys here for the store. Um, I'm not going to go through it all. It's just lots of random stuff. But, you know, you get the idea. There's all sorts of things in here. So, so I got that. I also got this Qbert game here, which is for my collection. The pieces in inside are still sealed in the little baggies, which is very cool. This was five bucks. All right, guys, this box here is the rest of the stuff that I got from the toy show. A lot of it for my collection, like I said, and most of it came from one person, but you know, we're gonna go through here and check it all out. So the best item I'll show first, Donkey Kong Jr. box. The manual, I believe, is also in here. No cartridge, but I bought one from the guy, which I showed you guys when I was still at the store, so this is a complete copy for my collection. This was only $3. So obviously I paid about $10 for the game, $3 for the box, and $1 for the manual, but all the NES boxes that I'll show you in here were $3 each. All the manuals were $1 each, and there's a bunch of other stuff, so... Any NES boxes like this, just remember, three bucks each. So, got that one. Got Sky Kid. And honestly, I haven't even looked at all these because they were so cheap, I just took them all. Double Dribble. Major League Baseball. Pinball. Excite Bike. Little League Baseball Championship Series. Anticipation. Probably could have passed on that one. Rad Racer, Condition Varies, of course. Wizards and Warriors. And then Super Mario Bros. 2. I think this, well, I don't think this one's a condition upgrade for me. Uh, Goal. Mario Bros. Arcade, awesome. This is a complete copy of Mario Bros. 3 that I bought from somebody else. I got this for $20. And then 10 Yard Fight, Bubble Bobble, love that game. And then uh, regular Super Mario Bros. And then Adventures of Lolo, awesome stuff in here. Blades of Steel, Ice Hockey with some Sharpie on there. And then I also got these boxes for the same price, so 
flip hole, box hole, alleyway, another NES box, Dr. Mario. And then these boxes as well, clutch hitter for the Game Gear, which I actually have a couple copies of this at the store, so I'll be able to complete that, as well as Joe Montana Football. I have both of those cartridges at the store, and I have multiple copies of each. So, from another seller, I got a Mario Bros. 2 with the manual for $12. Then I got a complete copy of Corpse Killer for Sega CD for, for 8 bucks. This is for my collection. I got for 2 bucks WrestleMania 2000. Another box here, um, Q Billion for Game Boy. Um, another box, Super Play Action Football for Super Nintendo. Oh, and another one. Uh, NHLPA hockey for my collection. I got this Super Mario Brothers uh, figure for 12 from the movie. Very cool. Got this guy from Star Wars. That's for the store. And also a little alien figure. I paid five bucks for those two. Another box here F1 race. Empty box. Um, Tetris and Dr. Mario for five. A little beat up though. NES power supply, which was thrown in for free. A clear PS2 controller for five. NES Max for five. NES Advantage for six. Another NES Max for five. My friend David gave me this Donkey Kong Country VHS for free. Spawn figure for the store, that was five. A black Game Boy Advance for $5. No battery cover, but still. A red SP. Guess how much? Eight bucks. <laughs> no charger, but still. Game Shark for the Game Boy Color, $5. NES Top Loader, 40 bucks. No cables or controllers, but still, that is incredible. And guess what? I also got a second one. This one's 45 because it's in better condition, but still, that is just crazy. Then a clear original Game Boy in the original box here for 30. And then here's the manual for that Q Billion one. Mario Kart manual, Mario World manual. All the manuals were a dollar each. So let's go through this stack here. I need to scoot back and make some room. So, dollar each on these. I'm not gonna read them all, but you can you can see them all. I just need to make sure I'm actually pointing the camera at them. Yeah, a dollar each on these. Crazy. Some of them are better than others, of course. There's two of those ones. So some of these go with the boxes I got, or maybe all of them do. <laughs> Didn't get the box for that one. So there's those, and then there were some Game Boy and DS games. So these are the prices I paid, by the way. So Mario Advance, Mario Land 2, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, Pokemon Pearl, Donkey Kong Land, a legit Pokemon Sapphire. They had a couple bootlegs, but I took the good one. Pokemon Rumble Blast, and Pokemon White version. So, that whole box was $295. Uh, well, not the whole box. The, the one bundle was $295. The Mario Bros. thing, the boxed Mario 3, the extra cartridge of Mario 2, all that kind of stuff was separate, but, um, you know, I ended up spending more money at the toy show than we made in sales at the toy show, which is not great, but I got a ton of good stuff here, so that was very, very awesome. Lots of fun today. I didn't film any sort of outro last night because I was just so tired. I went to sleep super early. Um, I think I probably fell asleep around, like, 9 p.m., <laughs> which is great, um, but I'm all refreshed today, ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, 
and immediately start the next one and I'm going to try to edit this, you know, yesterday's vlog pretty quick and get that up for you guys. Um, I'm really hoping it's gonna be extremely slow today. I don't think it will be because not only is it a Sunday, but we also missed yesterday at the store basically, but I have a lot of stuff to get through. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do not forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.